It's your boy, Habeas, and we're back with another video, baby. We're gonna be talking about movement in multiverses, man. Your runs, right? So this this is literally the most basic level of movement in multiverses or just in any game in general. It's gonna be running back and forth. And unlike Smash, you're gonna always start at your full speed run no matter what. You can even cancel running into attack. So this is gonna be the most basic way you're getting across the stage. Some characters are gonna be slower than others. Some characters are gonna be faster. But be mindful that running is a very limited option, but it's an easy way to get around. Next way people are gonna be moving is jumping. You have a short hop, which is, you know, a short jump. Is basically by just tapping it. You can combine running with your regular jump, right? If you want to get a higher jump, say I run from here, right? And I jump. That's about where I'm going to land. If I hold the button down, I land here. So, as you guys can see, here on this line right here, the second line versus the third line right here. A regular short jump by just tapping the jump button. And you have a higher jump holding down the button. And with jumping, you also have a double jump. So if I were to jump normally and double jump, I land here. But if I hold the first jump and then jump again, it's a little bit farther. It's not like too much farther. But so be mindful that you have two jumps to get around. As you can see, I'm covering a lot of space by holding the button down. Hold it like holding the button down the second time doesn't make your second jump higher. Your second jump is going to be a short hop. Your first jump can be either a short hop or full hop is what they call it in Smash, which is just holding the button down. So you're getting a little past your jumping and you realize that jumping at your opponent like this, they're just going to dodge you, right? It's going to be really hard to actually hit your opponent because they're also moving around and things like that so as you can see what i just did there is gonna be fast falling i'm falling a lot faster than if i were to do this right just a regular jump or even a full jump if i hold the button down you can you can basically cancel your jump at any point it's kind of hard to gauge how high i'm going i'm going to like the face of this statue that's right behind me even though i'm holding the button for jump it's i don't get the full height of my jump because i'm holding fast fall you can either do it at the top of your jump you can do it right away you can do it like slightly delayed and you can also do it while holding forward so as you can see this is a lot faster movement as opposed to just you know running around and doing this right you, it, this is such an obvious jump in that you're gonna that you're gonna jump in and you're gonna swing at someone right if you were to fast fall it's a little bit less like reactable as you can see i'm really close to the ground so it's gonna be a lot harder for people to dodge this be mindful that you can fast fall but be careful because fast falling too much can get you caught especially if that's your only way of getting back to the ground people are just gonna like recognize that you're only fast fall and then they're gonna try to catch your fast fall mix it up between jumping and fast falling if they're used to you jumping in and fast falling you can do a jump like this and go in instead it's just a way to change up the way you're approaching your opponent it makes them have to guess bro people are going to be mashing their dodge right dodge is a really huge thing in this game it's really fast in this game under your character there's going to be a bar and that is your dodge bar for a while i actually didn't notice this i would expect people to also not notice that that's under there and as you can see every time i dodge the meter goes down a little bit because you can still dodge without meter i don't have any invulnerability meaning that i can get hit while i'm doing this dodge a lot easier than if i had this you know the little white circle flash around me that means you have full invulnerability until your dodge is done you get your dodge meter back by getting attacks it's going up for me like getting hits and now it's full again there's ways you can incorporate dodges to make your basic movements faster you can actually incorporate a thing called dodge jumping which was something that i didn't do for a while when the game first came out the way you want to do a dodge jump is you dodge and you cancel the dodge with the jump so as you can see that that was a short jump let's see i land about here normally and if I dodge jump, I land here, which is basically the same distance if you were to do this, but it's a lot faster. The high jump, I land here versus a rolling high jump. I literally get right back to him. I'm in there. And then if I jump back, I'm, I land in the exact same spot. So it's always going to be the same distance. You can control it like, you know, by holding back at any moment. And it's, it's just a way to change up your approach. And also, like, you can also incorporate dodge, like, your, your second jump out of this. As you can see, I'm moving, like, really far. Say you do this, right? Do a dodge jump, and you're, you're going to go for the attack, right? But you want to change it up because your opponent's used to that. So when they see you do this, they're going to forward roll to try to dodge, you know, your attack like this, right? So, for example, you could, you could do this, turn around, and then do that so right so you're basically canceling your forward momentum to go backwards and stop in place and it, it could potentially catch someone who is trying to forward roll out of your attack or 
anti-air you with the move like hit you out of the air with the move another thing is to be mindful when you're in the air you have eight different directions you can dodge you can dodge down diagonal down left up forward up up back that's another type of movement option that you can also use like for example you can also incorporate your dash jumping and then you can dodge like that because if someone tries to hit you out of the air when they if you establish that you're going to jump in like this with a button you can also do that abuse your dodge and then try to catch them say you want to jump in that you can dodge down and attack them like that you can jump in dodge up and then go like this you can dodge jump at them dodge forward to get more space like say you're at this range you can do this dodge and then you're on the other side bro there's so many options you have for movement in this game even i'm thinking of different ways of using your movement in this game another thing that i want to show are platforms right so there's gonna be stages that have these different platforms on them so you can actually choose if you want to land on a platform or not in this game it applies to buttons or just fast falling in general so when you go above a platform normally you'll land on it like this but if you hold fast fall you will go right through the platform so you can do like stuff like you know it's it, this also goes into mind games you're fighting an opponent and you're jumping towards a platform and they think you're gonna land on the platform but instead you're you're fast falling so you just go right through the platform and you can attack them there once you establish that if they think you're just going to go through the platform and try to attack you can land on the platform and then tr go down the platform to catch them like that and also to go through platforms you can either you can hold your fast fall while jumping or once you land on the platform you can either double tap down or you can press down and jump which is something i just learned recently fall through one full hop back on jump on this one and fall through that one and go for an attack now going back to your dodge jumping there's also another way that you can move around it's a thing called wave dashing smash players are familiar with wave dashing wave dashing is basically when you jump and you cancel your jump with a downwards dodge like this as you can see you can do this pretty quickly like it's really fast like i said manage your dodge meter i don't have invulnerability while i'm doing this with a little practice you know you can do that this, this is just another way to move around the stage you can change up your movement like this and at any point you, you can attack while you're doing a, a a wave dash you jump and you hold down forward the entire time while you're doing this because i play on hitbox keyboard players can do this so it's a lot easier i don't know how it works on controller because i don't play on it but you guys could probably figure that out for yourselves but just practice this, this is another way to get around the stage this is something that i've actually started doing recently it's an advanced technique but it's pretty good if, if you can get the hang of it there's applications for it keep in mind not every character's wave dash is going to be the same as you can see like hers is kind of fast but she has like a little startup on it same same with with her dodge jumping it's just pretty fast but his kind of has a little bit of a like a freeze kind of startup at the beginning of it dang superman is this dude fast. is fast as freak for a tank bro god dang i'm just realizing that but characters like iron giant this technique isn't as applicable for him as you can see he's really slow i don't ever see any iron giants doing this as funny as it looks all right you guys that's gonna be it for the video let me know if it helped you guys and if i missed anything i tried to go over as many things as i can think of but yeah that's gonna be it make sure to like comment subscribe click the bell so you see when we post more videos more tutorials to come so stick around gameplays reaction videos news check out my multiverses playlist in the top right corner and that's gonna be it it's been tavius remember to always smile and have a great day i love you guys and you guys peace